Welcome arithmetic ninjas to multiplying a three digit number by a two digit number. And some people call this long multiplication. Some people use a method called the magic zero method. So let's take a closer look. Now the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set this out in a column method. Now you actually need five lines of squares for each question. I've actually only got four lines of squares here. So the first two lines you need are for writing your question. So I'm going to write 406 times by 14. Then you need another three lines for your working out. Okay, and now that's why you can see I've gone onto the top for this. But obviously, when you're doing this in your exam, you would actually have more squares there than what I've got. So I'm going to set the second one out in exactly the same way. So 313 times by 12. And I'm going to do my lines for working out I need three spaces for working out it's the same on the next one so i'm going to do 721 times by 32 again need some space for working out three extra lines for working out on number 19 we're going to have 942 times by 58 we need three lines for working out and on the final one, we're going to have 507 times by 82. And same again, three lines for working out. Now, it's important to realise what we're actually going to do on each of the three lines. So let's go back to question one. The top line is for dealing with the four. The next line is for dealing with the one, which actually means 10. And the bottom line is for adding it all together. So... On the top line, we're going to times everything by four. So we're going to go four sixes, four zeros, four fours in that order. Four sixes, four zeros, four fours. So four sixes are 24. Put the four in, carry the two. Four nothings are nothing, plus the two I've just carried is two. Four fours are 16. Scribble out the two because we've already used that. We don't want to use that again by accident later on. Now let's... Do the middle line. Now, the middle line is for dealing with this 1 here. But this 1, don't forget, means 10. So, because it's in the 10s column. So, to times by 10, you put your magic 0 in, and then just times everything by 1. Because you've got the magic 0 on the end, it is then the same as times by 10. So, 1 times 6, 1 times nothing, 1 times 4, in that order. 1 times 6 is 6, 1 times nothing is nothing, 1 times 4 is 4. Now the final line is for adding together. So all we need to do now is add everything together because this top line here is four lots of 406 and the next line is 10 lots of 406. So if you put them together, you're gonna to have 14 lots and that's exactly what we're being asked for in the question, 14 lots of 406. So add them together. Four plus nothing is four, two plus six is eight, 6 plus nothing is 6, 1 plus 4 is 5. And that's the first question done. Next question, 313 times 12. So the top line will be for the 2, the second line for the 10, and then the bottom line, add it all together. So 2 lots of 3, 2 lots of 1, and 2 lots of 3 on the top line. In that order, 2 3s, 2 1s, 2 3s. So 2 3s are 6, 2 1s are 2, 2 3s are 6. That's nice and easy so far. On your second line, you're going to times everything by the 1. But remember, the 1 doesn't mean 1. It means 10, because it's in the tens column. So put the magic 0 in, and then go 1 lot of 3, 1 lot of 1, 1 lot of 3, in that order. 1 lot of 3 is 3, 1 lot of 1 is 1, 1 lot of 3 is 3. Final line, we need to add everything together, because that will give us... 12 lots of 313 so 6 plus nothing is 6 2 plus 3 is 5 6 plus 1 is 7 and then nothing and 3 is 3 final answer 3756 for the next one we've got 721 times 32 so the top lines for the 2 the middle lines for this 3 which means 30 and the bottom line for adding everything together so here we go on the top line, we're going to go two ones, two twos, two sevens in that order. Two ones, two twos, two sevens. Two ones are two, two twos are four, 
two sevens are 14. Now we've dealt with the two, it's time to deal with the three. The three stands for 30. So you put your magic zero in, and then just times by three. And that will have the same effect as times in by 30. Three ones, three twos, three sevens, in that order. Three ones, three twos, three sevens. So three ones are three, three twos are six, and three sevens are 21. All we've got to do now is add the two lines together. Two plus nothing is two, four plus three is seven, four plus six is 10, put the zero in, carry the one. One plus one is two, plus the one I've just carried is three, and then nothing in two is two. Final answer, 23,072. Just make the answer lines a little bit longer there, 23,072. The next one, we've got 942 times 58. So the top line is for the eight, the second line is for the five, which means 50, and the bottom line is gonna add everything together. So top line is gonna be eight twos, eight fours, eight nines, in that order. Eight twos, eight fours, eight nines. So here we go, eight twos are 16, Put the six in, carry the one. Eight fours are 32, plus the one is 33. Put the three in, carry the three. And eight nines are 72, plus the three is 75. Here we go. Scribble out your carried digits, because you don't need them again. We've used them already. And let's go for the second line, which is to deal with a five. The five doesn't mean five, it means 50. So you put your magic zero in, and then just times by five. And it has the same effect as times by 50. Five twos are 10, put the zero in, carry the one. Five fours are 20, plus the one is 21, put the one in, carry the two. Five nines are 45, plus the two is 47. Scribble out your carry digits, because you don't want to use them again by accident. And then just add everything together. Six add nothing is six, three add nothing is three, five add one is six, seven add seven is 14, put the four in, carry the one. Four plus one is five. Final answer, 54,636. Final question, 507 times 82. So the top line we're going to use for the 2, the second line we're going to use for the 8, which means 80, and the third line we're going to add everything together. 2 times 7, 2 times nothing, 2 times 5, in that order. 2 7s, 2 nothings, 2 5s. Here we go. 2 7s are 14, put the 4 in, carry the 1. 2 nothings are nothing, plus the 1 is one, and two fives are 10. Scribble out the one, because we don't need that anymore. And now let's times by the eight. But remember the eight doesn't mean eight, it means 80. So we need to put our magic zero in, and then just times by eight. And then that will have the same effect as times by 80, because we've put the magic zero in. So we need eight sevens, eight nothings, eight fives, in that order. Eight sevens, eight nothings, eight fives. Here we go, eight sevens are 56, Put the six in, carry the five. Eight nothings are nothing, plus the five is five, and eight fives are 40. Put the zero in, carry the four, but because we've finished, that four can just go straight in. Scribble out your carry digits, because we don't need to use them again. Just extend our answer lines, and then just add everything together. Four plus nothing is four, one plus six is seven, nothing and five is five, one and nothing is one, nothing and four is four. Final answer, 41,574. Now we've done questions one, two, 14, 19, and 20. It's time for you to do the rest. Good luck, and don't forget to put those magic zeros in.